Today I'm going to inoculate several petri dishes to check for fecal coliform bacteria in several water samples. So these petri dishes here have auger port in them, so let me turn one over. And this light yellow stuff is auger and it's a medium, a food source for bacteria to grow and make colonies. So we will check our various water samples to see if they have fecal coliform bacteria. This particular auger um, grows pink colonies um, to check for bacteria. It's a special one to check for fecal coliform bacteria. So first I need a sterile pipette and I need a water sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this water sample here. This water sample is from a pond that was in Riverside, California. So I'm going to take my sterile pipette and I'm going to take one milliliter of the water. So the line here is a milliliter. And now I'm going to go ahead and open my petri dish slightly. And I'm going to put in one milliliter of water and I'm going to swirl it to cover the auger. And now I'm going to go ahead and label this. This is Riverside Pond. And now I'm going to seal it because we never want to open up the petri dish. So I'm going to seal it with something called parafilm, which is a wax, and it stretches out a little bit. And I'm going to seal it all the way around like so and we will never open up the petri dish because there could be pathogens in it and so we will look through the plastic to check for coliform in a few days the next test that we're going to do is on fish tank water so I went over to my aquarium and I got a sample here. I just scooped out some water from my fish tank. And so now I'm going to take my pipette. This is a new pipette, sterile pipette. And I filled it up to a milliliter here. And I'm going to go ahead and inoculate in here. I'm gonna swirl it around to cover the auger. Make sure my water is covering all of the auger. And I'm going to go ahead and label this fish tank. And I'm going to seal it up. The next sample here is of tap water. So I just went over to the tap. I made sure that my beaker was clean. And I'm going to go ahead and use a new sterile pipette. And I'm going to fill it up to a milliliter. And once again, I'm going to inoculate. You'll notice that I am careful not to leave the lid off too long on a Petri dish. And that's really important to, pretend, to prevent contamination from the air from getting inside of the Petri dish. And I'm gonna go ahead and seal it and label it. Let's go ahead and get the results of our coliform bacteria tests. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom of each of these to see if they grew colonies of coliform bacteria. So we'll start here with uh, tap water. And so this is just water from the tap and we turn it over and we can see here that there are no colonies, which is great. There should not be any colonies in our tap water. So this came back negatives, zero colonies. Next, we'll look at our fish tank. 
So our fish tank actually grew bacteria. Um, you can see some kind of large colonies in here, but not coliform. So it's negative for coliform bacteria. The coliform bacteria are kind of a light pink circle. Now our fish tank water does have good bacteria in it, beneficial bacteria. And so that's what we're seeing growing, but not coliform. So coliform bacteria comes from mammal feces. And so there are no mammals in my fish tank. So this is normal for it to come back negative. Now we'll do some Santa Clarita River water collected in um, on the Valencia side of the Santa Clara River. And this one is positive for a couple of, there's one there. So one, and then there's one here. So two small colonies of coliform. This could be runoff from dog uh, poop um, or some sewer lines, but probably just mammals, even coyotes or something that live along the riverbed. And so that's what this is from. So we'll say two colonies in that water. The next one is from the Gilbert, Arizona Riparian Preserve, and this was treated wastewater. And there, this has come back negative. Now it has some bacteria in it, but not coliform bacteria. And this was mostly, in this water were mostly ducks, and those are not mammals, so um, we are not getting any fecal coliform, which is good because this is actually treated wastewater, and so you wouldn't want any fecal coliform in your treated wastewater. But it, it could have some if some mammals uh, were living nearby and their waste washed in, but it doesn't look like in our water sample we have any of that. So this is negative. Our bottled water sample. So here on the bottled water sample, we are negative for fecal coliform, so that's excellent also. There are a couple of specks. These are not bacteria colonies. This was actually clumps of agar. So this is also negative of fecal coliform. This was the ocean water in Ventura, I'm sorry, uh, in Oxnard. And it looks like we have a colony here. So it looks like we have one colony of coliform bacteria and it's a light pink color. This is another sample from the Santa Clara River taken um, when the water was extremely turbid, so very, very turbid water. This was the water source, almost black, and that was uh, after rain. And this one is definitely positive. You can see there's a lot of colonies growing, and some of them are coliform. So that's a definite coliform bacteria, and then that, and then that, and then some smaller ones. So it looks to me like we have about five colonies of fecal coliform. So it means that as that water was washed down into the river, it picked up some feces along the way. So the next one here is Riverside Pond Water. So this pond water was also from reclaimed water, so treated wastewater. And it looks to be, let me get it in the light. Looks to be positive for one. So right there has one colony. Um, again, probably from a mammal living nearby in the waste washing in. Okay. And then this is Whitney Canyon, so a hiking trail in Santa Clarita. And it looks like we do have a few colonies in here. No actual, oh yes we do. Some of these are specks from the agar. The agar got clumped together and these specks are just clumped agar, but over here, this colony right there is definitely a very good coliform bacteria colony. It has a nice light pink color. So this is positive for one. So this is one of the reasons why when you're hiking that you don't drink any creek water or stream or lake water without purifying it, running it through a filter or adding iodine a drop or two to your water bottle or boiling it. And that's it.